Hey guys, thanks for joining me. If you've come across this video, then you're probably a lot like me in the fact that you're looking for an easy, economical, and smell-free way to feed your reptiles. Yep, I'm talking about dubia roaches. Today I'm going to show you a way to build a dubia colony. It's how I've been keeping a colony over the past year in order to feed our two adult bearded dragons. So let's get into the parts you'll need, the tools I used, and then I'll show you how to put it all together. So first off, the foundation of your dubia colony is going to be a bin. I used a big uh, Tupperware bin. I used the Hefe High Rise Pro. Bought it from Lowe's. It's about 72 quarts, 24 inches wide, 16 inches deep, and about 14 inches high. Now you're going to want something that's, that's not clear. Uh, the clear lets too much light in, and the dubias do a lot better when it's dark. So try to pick a bin that's got good smooth sides, a flat bottom flat end and doesn't let any light in. Next up you're going to need a way to heat your colony. Uh, we use reptile um, heater tape and we're going to cut a section and put it on the end down here and that's going to be a way to heat, heat your roaches. You're going to need some screen mesh. Uh, we'll be cutting holes in the top of this lid for airflow and that screen mesh is going to keep the roaches from escaping. Next up, you'll need an extension cord. Uh, we're going to cut the end off and we're going to use that to uh, connect to the heat tape to, to plug in. You also need some type of either a thermostat or like what I have here, I've got a, a dimmer switch. And that way you can control um, how much heat is going into the, the colony. You'll need some electrical insulation tape and that's going to cover the connections we make to the, to the heat tape. You also need some aluminum HVAC tape. Uh, we'll use that to secure the, the heat tape to the side of the bin and it helps transfer the heat uh, better to the bin. Um, you'll also need some type of media to house your roaches inside the bin. And what we're going to use is uh, egg crates that we're going to glue together and we're going to stack them vertically inside the bin. And that's just going to give a place for the roaches to hide and, and, uh, and stay. And last but not least, you're going to need some type of food bowl. Uh, we do have two types of food that we feed. We feed uh, oatmeal, like dry oatmeal in one bowl. In the other bowl you can put your, your fruits and veggies in. So that's it. That's the basic parts you're going to need. Uh, kind of the foundation of your dubia colony. So let's get into to building this thing.
here it is guys, we're all done with the Dubia enclosure. Thought I'd go through it, show you kind of what it looks like when it's all finished and it's all ready to go. So we'll go ahead and uh, kind of talk about it here. Obviously uh, the end where the heat tape is is going to be your warm end of the cage. You've got a fewer amount of holes so the, the heat will build up on this side of the cage. And over here you've got more holes so um, that'll be the cooler end, that's where I usually put my food dishes and we'll, we'll kind of open it up so you can take a look. I like to keep my egg flats um, stacked vertically. Um, they seem to stay cleaner that way. They don't collect all the, the frass or the, the waste from the roaches. And when, when I open up my uh, enclosure, I tend to see most of the roaches kind of congregating in these flats here uh, near the warm end of the cage. Um, and then they, they'll come out and they'll feed over here where the food dishes are. And like I talked about before, I'll keep dry food. I, I feed mine dry oatmeal in one bowl and the other bowls where I keep my fruits and veggies. And what I like to feed is uh, um, I'll do apples, like a slice of apple, dandelion greens, carrots, um, and occasionally some citrus. So yeah, pretty basic on the inside. Uh, we've got it plugged in right now. I do run a dimmer on mine. I don't run a thermostat. Uh, the dimmer's worked out well for me. I keep my enclosures in, in a cabinet so they do build up heat over time. So I occasionally check them um, with a thermometer just to check the temperature, making sure they're not overheating and that they're warm enough for the roaches. So out here right now, the ambient temperature is about 71 degrees. And right on the, the heat tape, we're running you know, almost 98 degrees right around there. And I found in my enclosure in the, when it's inside the cabinet, these, these middle egg flats here will get to about 90, 95 degrees, depending on the time of year. So that's it, pretty basic. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing some more videos on uh, like how to sort roaches, um, what I feed them and probably a video on uh, you know how we keep our bearded dragons what kind of enclosure we keep those in thanks for watching